beautiful solid top baritone guitar. This is only the second one I've featured on my channel and this is a very very long model number so I'll just put it in the description. This is made by Teton. I've already done a uh, video about them as a secret brand and I just found out that no one has ever heard of these on the East Coast of the United States. Um, I've heard about them for a while. They've been on one of my videos. I still have the uh, 105 cent CENT model that I featured in a video a few months ago. I kept hold of it. It's a wonderful um, live performance guitar for finger picking. And I just got hold of this one, uh, which is the baritone model. And uh, really nice solid spruce top, mahogany back, Fishman Electronics. Um, Rosewood uh, neck with uh, mother of pearl inlays. Uh, just very, very nice sounding. I love that A chord or the E minor chord. fantastic baritone and um, I did a video a few months back saying that the Alvarez baritone was the best entry-level baritone I think that one runs around 500 550 somewhere around there and this is probably around the same price so I think that here's another one that um, rivals that I actually like this one slightly better because it doesn't have a pick guard I'm, I'm a big fan of guitars without pick guards I'm not a heavy strummer I mostly play with my fingers, so I really like not having a pick guard, um, which is a minor thing. But it's very, very nicely made, beautiful shape, sort of the jumbo-esque shape. Um, really nice appointments on this guitar, and it just sounds great. So um, there is the Teton Baritone. And if you wait long enough, I'm going to have another one here in a second. There you go. <laughs> So now I have a Teton 12-string uh, guitar, and this time I'm going to play with a, with a pick. I, I do like finger-picking these, but, um, you know, I'll probably stumble on the strings. It's, it takes a little warming up to finger-pick these. So it's a classic 12-string. Teton also solid top, very similar looking to the baritone in wood selection in the back, which is a nice mahogany, and also the Fishman SYS system on it, um, which looks like it's light licensed to uh, Teton guitars. It's got both logos on the on the uh, preamp there. But these are really nice guitars, and um, I was just saying how um, before I interrupted myself that they're not known on the East Coast. Um, I'm in Colorado and I've seen a few of these now and I've even even picked them up. Um, but apparently east of here, uh, they're relatively unknown. I had a conversation with um, a reclamation company that's just picked these up and they'd never heard of them. And these are people in the industry, which I find a bit hard to believe, but there it is. Uh, just, they just haven't made a, a, any sort of traction uh, on the East Coast, um, more on the West Coast. So that's that's an interesting uh, uh, dynamic. I'm curious uh, to, to hear back from my UK and Australian uh, viewers as it, as whether to, you've seen these over there yet. Um, I'm not sure Teton has a presence in the UK. I'd like to know if they do. Um, but I think you're going to be hearing a lot more about these. For the price points, um, these are, are very, very well made. Um, very nice wood selection, very well put together, uh, and every single one I've had or played is an absolutely fantastic guitar. Not only did I have the Dreadnought uh, 
uh, cutaway cedar top one that I featured on a video a few months back. I think I also did a video on a solid top Teton classical. Uh, if you if you scroll back through my videos, you'll find it. And that is a fantastic guitar, and I still have that. So in my possession right now, four Tetons, and they're all really good. When you can play comfortable bar chords on a 12 string, you know that the setup is good too. I've done a bit of tweaking on it, but really they came in very, very good condition. And I haven't had to do too much, but um, I really like these guitars. I'm not going to post this as another secrets video because I've already done one. But I just wanted to show you uh, these two new models that I've, I've run into, the Baritone and the 12 string Dreadnought Cutaway. And I will put both model numbers on the description below the video. And also I've been reminded by a couple of my viewers to ask for likes and subscribes. I don't think I've done it once in all the videos I've made. Um, I just assume that people who watch YouTube videos, that's an automated response. If you like something, if you enjoy watching something, you click like, and if you want to see more, you click subscribe. But I've been told I need to do it more. So I appreciate all of the people that have um, liked and subscribed to my videos. I think I'm close to 400 viewers now or subscribers. Um, and I get a, a smattering of about a dozen or 15 or so that regularly comment. I really appreciate that. Um, and you know who you are. And I try to respond to everyone uh, um, quickly. Uh, and I think I've done so, so far. Um, I really appreciate that too. I like hearing back from you. A lot of you are very knowledgeable about the instrument world, just as much as, as I am, if not more. And I really appreciate your, uh, your support. And I just had a delivery, if you heard that knock, that was a delivery from uh, FedEx. So it looks like I'll have some ukes to show you in a video or two. See you next time.